So welcome everyone to this sixth lesson of uh, the Eigenharp Tau tutorial. Um, we had a lot of fun after last lesson to going over everything again. Um, and then obviously we realized that there were a couple of things that Natalie was already using uh, that I showed to her in the course of the last two weeks that would really be useful uh, to put into a video, which is what we're going to do now. Um, so one of the first things that Natalie asked me after having mastered the looping and scheduling section was how do I actually use other instruments? So she was using the piano, the first sound font sampler instrument that's uh, used by default when the eigenharp starts up. Um, and then she started using alchemy. So this is our cat. Hello. <laughs> she comes and say hi here in our studio. So, um, <laughs> she, uh, she started using alchemy and after having you know, put down one sound in alchemy, um, she obviously wanted to use another sound, like a bass sound or something like that, and she didn't really know how to do that. So, this is what we're going to start off with in this lesson. Okay, so... We already started with stage last time, so let me start that up already. So you go to the tools menu, you launch stage, which will give you a configuration view of the Eigenharp. So, if you remember well, there are different sections in, uh, in the instruments. So, we've got those three keys here, which were sound font sampler instruments, um, of which you typically use the piano already. Then these three instruments here, that are audio unit instruments. So, you used alchemy here, right? I've got some cat hair all over the place now. So, we've got alchemy here. And then we've got empty instruments. So this is the second audio unit one that is empty and the third audio unit one that is also empty, right? And so you wanted to put uh, additional audio, audio unit instruments in these two slots so that you could switch between them while you were looping. So um, let's first open up Alchemy so that we have that already running, so that you can see the difference. So, if you go to the window menu of EigenD and go to Alchemy, you will see the GUI window of Alchemy, right? Um, and we can just pick. Let's let's just pick uh, uh, the brass sound, the bass sound. Let's see. So we've got uh, a bass sound in Alchemy, and let's now on the second audio unit instrument put another audio unit plugin. So I'm selecting it already. Now I'm going to put the Eigenhop Tower away until we've done the configuration. So what you can do then is um, go back to EigenD and launch another tool, the Eigen Browser tool that we already used yesterday, that you use to select uh, the loops for the drummer. Right? We're going to use that now to select the plugins for the instruments. Right? So Eigen Browser always gives you a list of things that you can select amongst. So if you're in stage, you can see here a whole bunch of tabs, right? So we already used the drummer tab, and here there's a little plus sign, and that plus sign gives you additional tabs that you couldn't see uh, at the top here. So I'm selecting now the Audio Unit VST2 tab. So that's the Audio Unit VST2 instrument, which is the one that is active here. It's the second one, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is quite a complicated setup, but what you're interested in here at the moment is the plugin browse. So that, yes? If I, if I don't choose the, this tab, if mm. I don't choose this, if I, if I uh, forgot, if I forget, <laughs> Um, if I forget to choose, yes. Uh, well, what's happened? Because well, it's uh, what I'm, what I, uh, what I did yesterday. Well, if you forget to choose it, you you will not be able to select the plugin here. You will not be able to find this button. Right? You were probably choosing amongst different loops yesterday, mm -hmm. and not with different instruments. Right. So here, when you select the Audio Unit 2 
tab, which corresponds mm -hmm. to the Audio Unit 2 instrument, you will see here the Audio Unit Plugin Browse uh, button that you can click. And again, there is this list of plugins that appears, mm -hmm. right? An important note about all the unit and VST plugins is that there are different categories. So you've got the instrument plugins and the effect plugins. Um, Camel Audio Alchemy that you've used for the first audio unit uh, instrument here at the top is an instrument audio unit. So what happens is when you press on a key, it will create a sound from nothing, from basically the information of the key. And then the effect audio units and VSTs take sound that you send into it and either change it or add additional effects to it. Like for example, reverbs. Um, when you want to add some reverb to a sound, you will use uh, a reverb plugin. So, if you, if you see all these entries here um, in the Eigen browser, they're basically the first entries that you see are the makers of the plugins, right? So. There is no differentiation between the instrument and the effect plugins here. You actually have to know what each one does. But, but typically, um, you've installed those plugins, so you know which ones uh, can be used for which purpose. Um, so in this case, for example, mm, let's open up Native Instruments plugin. And here you can see a whole bunch of names, which are the plugins that are installed. Sometimes the effect plugins have a specific name here. There's an FX suffix. Um, and let's now, for example, open up a Massive. So you can see that the plugin opened up directly with the plugin window. So as soon as you load it, you will get the plugin window and you can start using it. And just as with Alchemy, you can go to the presets and for example let me take here uh, a synth pad and the basic pad and uh, I don't know just taking anything here that's not the right one okay, double click so that's the second uh, audio unit and VST instrument that we've added and now we can of course go through and um, for example, go to the third one, also browse, select another one, let's, let's open up another native instruments one. Let's for example, open up AppSynth. And that will be the same, the same one as the third uh, instrument that's, that you can select here. So this is now AppSynth, uh, where I can for example, take a synth lead, Let's take this one. And so we've now added two additional instruments. So we still have Alchemy as the first audio unit instrument, Massive as the second one, and Absinthe as the third one. Right? The fourth on this column is a MIDI output, so you don't uh, look at this now. At the moment you can only use three instruments here, right? So, one thing that you can hear immediately is, for example, this sound is much stronger than this sound. When you play with it, you will probably want to change the volumes so that they are more in line with each other. There are different ways of doing that. Um, the easiest way is to go back to stage and in the first tab in stage you've got a mixer tab. And there you can see all the instruments that are available in the Eigenharp, right? Mm -hmm. So we have sampler 1, which is the first sampler here, which is a piano. So I can put this up, it will be much louder, I can put it down and will be much softer. Right? Just as here, um, the first audio unit is Alchemy. I can put louder and softer. 
Now, it's not recommended to go over 100. So 100 is basically the maximum. If you go over 100, you really have to know what you're doing because you might be creating distortion. You might make it louder, but also um, add something that's called clipping, where the actual signal can't go any higher anymore and it will create audible artifacts that are really not nice to listen to. So something that is more recommended is to instead of um, making the sounds louder is to make other sounds softer if you want to, to even out the levels. So this lead sound that we have in absinthe is much too loud so it's probably best to take that down. And make higher the master maybe. It's better not to t make, the, make the master volume higher. If you want to have more sounds coming out of your speakers there's an easy way. It's just turn your speakers up, right? Mm -hmm. So going over 100, you really have to know what you're doing. Without having any metering, uh, so you can add some metering plugins in, in between, but that's already quite an advanced usage. Without having any metering in between, it's very difficult to know if you're actually hitting the maximum or not, right? So um, this gets into something that's called gain staging. I'm not going to explain more about that, but if you want to read up on it, it's a, a very interesting subject. So that's about adding uh, new audio, un audio unit instruments. Um, there are other instruments in the Eigen Harp, and I'll quickly show you how to change those. Um, so we have here the three audio unit and VST instruments, right? And then here we've got the three sampler instruments. And a sampler instrument, as far as the icon hop is concerned, is something that's called a sound font. And it's a file that you can either buy or download from the internet, and you can install your own files. Um, if you don't know how to install it, there are sections on the wiki that show you how to do that. Um, and if you have any questions about that, I can make a video about it. But what's interesting is that you can go, for example, to the sampler 2 instrument, so sampler 2 right which is connected to breath and again you can use sound font browse to see here in the eigen browser again a whole bunch of sound fonts and you can select the sound font here and then So that's another way of changing sounds. The third one here is a bit of a special instrument. It's um, two sound fonts that are blended together. So sampler three, if you go into here, you see it's much more complex. I've got a sound font that goes to the left and another sound font that goes to the right. So again, you can go to the left sound font and change it, let's say to, um, what do I have here? Uh, I don't know these, very, these sound fonts very well, but I change that to a cello. Um, and the violin. So. so I've got two, two different string sounds of solo strings that you can move between. So with this you can already have a lot of sound possibilities. You basically have six instruments that you can fully change and configure uh, based on the sounds that you want to hear. Uh, so that's that. Any questions about this? No? Mm. Okay. Um, I think we're done with this lesson. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.